Hello students, in this video we are going to see how to find the GCD of greatest common divisor, GCD of two polynomials. There are many methods, but we are going here we are going to use uh, a very simple method you can understand easily. So, here two polynomials are given. So, we can take the polynomial as g of x and f of x, or p of x or q of x, whatever it may be. We will take g of x equal to x cube plus x square minus x plus 2, the first polynomial, and the second polynomial f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x minus 3. So, first when you when you are when you find the GCD of a polynomial first thing you have to check the degree of the polynomial degree of the polynomial here you can see what is the degree of the polynomial p of x uh, q of x g of x the degree of the polynomial g of x degree means the highest power of the variable. So, here the highest power of the variable 3. So, the degree of the polynomial g of x is 3 and in f of x the highest polynomial highest power of the variable also 3. So, they are they have equal degree degree of g of x 3 degree of f of x 3. So, if suppose if suppose it has degree of f of x is greater than the degree of polynomial p of x uh, g of x we have to take f of x as dividend we have to take g of x as divisor so here you, are, you may know clearly the polynomial which we are write which we are writing inside this is divided this is divisor so the highest power the highest power should come inside so here what is the highest power of the variable they have equal degree if the degrees are equal then we have to see the coefficient of the highest power variable so here x cube x cube the coefficient of x cube in f of x is 2 coefficient of x cube in g of x is 1 so this is greater number so we have to take this one as divided 2 x cube minus 5 x square plus 5 x minus 3 if if they have c if they have same coefficient then we have to look at these two coefficient here which is the highest value we may think 5 but minus plus 1 and minus 5 so we have to take plus 1 as greater 1 uh, here no problem 2 is the highest power ok then divisor x cube plus x square minus x plus 2 you have to know first you have to look at the degree which the which polynomial which has greater degree should be the dividend here degrees are same so we have to look at the coefficient coefficient is greater coefficient 2 so we have to write f of x as dividend f of x g of x as divisor then take the first one and the first term of both the polynomials 2x cube is divided by x cube so 2 will come 2 into then multiply 2 into x cube 2x cube plus 2x square minus 2x plus 4 then change the symbol minus minus plus 
minus just change the opposite side it will be cancelled plus 2x cube minus 2x cube will be cancelled now look at the symbol they have same symbol same symbol means addition so it's 5 plus 2 7 big number symbol minus x square same symbol addition plus 7 x same symbol addition minus 7 then we have to look at these two terms the divisor has greater power so we cannot divide so we have to is there any if it is common if, if, if it has any common factor we have to take it out so we will take minus 7 as common factor so then x square minus x plus 1 then the next step the divisors becomes the dividend x cube plus x square minus x plus 2 then this remainder will become the divisor now the the first term of the dividend should be divided by the first term of the divisor x so write here x x into x square x cube minus x square plus x then change the symbol it will be cancelled sorry plus x cube minus x cube will be cancelled symbols are same x square plus x square 2x square minus 2x plus 2 then look here the first term has to be divided by the first term of the divisor plus 2 will come plus 2 2 into x square 2x square minus 2x plus 2 now change the symbol minus plus minus then simply plus 2x square minus 2x square will be cancelled minus 2x plus 2x plus 2 minus 2 0 so when the remainder becomes 0 in that division what will be the divisor x square minus x plus 1 this is the divisor so here gcd of g of x and f of x is x square minus x plus 1 and the remainder becomes 0 in that situation what is the divisor that is the GCD. So, very simple method you can understand very easily. Thank you.